Any engine spends a good portion of its life at idle. Your engine's ECM controls three main idle features that help you improve fuel economy, reduce cab noise and vibration, and comply with emission and idle laws. Those features are idle speed control, idle shutdown, and the idle adjust. One feature is the ability to set the engine's idle speed within a particular range. Your fleet sets this using the engine's electronic control module. A second feature is idle shutdown. If the truck's idling and you don't touch the accelerator, brake, or clutch pedals for, say, five minutes, the ECM shuts down the engine. Just like that. The time to shut down is programmable based on the requirements of your fleet. If your fleet has enabled it, you may use a manual override of idle shutdown. During the last 30 seconds of programmed idle time, the amber warning light will flash. If you touch any pedal during this time, idle shutdown is canceled and won't be initiated again unless the vehicle is moved or restarted. The idle shutdown feature has an option where shutdown depends on outside air temperature. For example, auto shutdown may be disabled when the temperature is very cold or very warm so that the heat or air conditioning can stay on. These parameters are set by your fleet. Finally, if your vehicle has idle speed adjust enabled, you can raise the idle speed up or down using the cruise control switches. This can improve the noise and vibration characteristics of the vehicle. The idle speed control sets the RPM at which your vehicle idles. If you have idle speed adjust enabled, you can modify that setting to minimize noise or vibration. And you can reset the idle shutdown timer by tapping any pedal. Just a note on the idle shutdown feature. It helps you comply with laws in dozens of states and cities, from New York to California. These laws govern where and for how long your diesel-powered vehicle may idle. As we've said, idling uses fuel, but some operators think their engines need time to warm up, so they let it idle while they're going through their pre-trip checklist. But today's engines don't need time to warm up. You can drive off at 60 or 70% of throttle just as soon as you have oil pressure. So minimize your idle time and save some fuel. In addition, some operators also feel that it's better to idle their heavy duty rigs. Older engines were harder to start. Today's engines handle that just fine because of advanced electronics and engine design. Plus, look at it this way. How many miles are you getting for the fuel you use when the engine's running and you're not moving. Right, zero MPG. Time for a knowledge check. With idle shutdown, the amount of time an engine will idle before shutting down is how long? Five minutes or programmable by the fleet manager? The amount of time an engine idles before shutting down is programmable by the fleet. <laughs>